Diddy come from being poor, man, and you get and you get all these billions of dollars and you're big in there. You have all these kids, successful, successful music mogul and all this old shit. And you and you doing all this? Man, I'll be checking in every touch. Is it okay to grab your left titty? Exactly. Is it okay to grab your right titty? Exactly. I'm a billionaire. I'm exactly. not gonna fuck. I'm a bill a billionaire who was poor. Bro. I'm not doing nothing to fuck this up. I no. walk around with a GoPro on my motherfucking right, chest. Right, right. Bitch, you said like I did cop. what? Yeah. Oh, you did it. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to a new episode of the Disclaimer Podcast. Disclaimer, we on this podcast do not mean any harm to anybody mentally, physically, or emotionally. We are just here for entertainment purposes and entertainment purposes only. Got a very, very special guest host uh, today with me today, my guy, uh, comedian, and new winner of the San Francisco Comedy Competition. Comedy Competition, Frankie Marcos, man. He coming to rock with me. What's good, my, my guy? guy? I appreciate you, man. Oh, you already know, man. You man, know we, we go way back. We go way back. Go we way don't back. say where, but we go way back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. Shit like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to flex about our beginnings right now. But yeah, man, what's been going on with you, man? I see you won a competition. You're doing your thing, man. I sent you on tour overseas yeah. uh, uh, last year, man. Yeah, the, uh, the, the competition for, for the viewers and the listeners, is uh, it's been going on 48 years. Okay. And uh, some of the top five finalists have been uh, Louis C.K., Ellen DeGeneres, Robin Williams, and now... Uh, unknown Beaner, baby, Frankie yes, Marcos. Oh, <laughs> so they they got to find man. out now. Yeah. That's what's up. Congratulations on that, man. Congratulations. We're going to talk more about that yeah. a little later. But we're going to jump right into it, man. You know, comedians, man. We like when we see shit, we talk about it. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah, Every man. time. Every yeah. time we talk about it. So uh, there's a few things going on on the on the internet that I seen that was kind of like caught my ear, caught my eye. Mm-hmm. One of them was the rapper Lil Boosie. Yeah. He, um... B O O S I E. Yeah. <laughs> he um he don't let his daughter, he don't want his daughter is uh gay. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, and he don't want his daughter to Why bring. Why are you gay? <laughs> he don't want his daughter to bring her old lady, her girlfriend, yeah. over the house. He don't want that around his other kids. That's what he said. Would you? What's your take on that? You know, being you know. I think that's hilarious because wh- why would you want like? I can understand because every dad is like a dick goalie. You know what I mean? You're trying to just prevent dick from getting in your house <laughs> or your kids. But why you block the, the vagina? That's fine. I would be happy if I was a father <laughs> and my daughter was a, bruh, was a bike. The other word that rhymes with bike. If she was a lesbian, oh, I would be, th- God is good. You know what I mean? For real, I would be thankful. That's hilarious. Man. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Honestly, I guess because they he say he's a southern church going mm. brother. Okay, okay, yeah, you yeah. know, and I guess that he don't rock with with that. But you know, my opinion on it is, you know, it's you believe in what you believe in. Yeah, but I ain't that dude. Right. If my daughter gay. She want to bring her old lady to the house, so the old lady respectful and all that. I don't give. First of all, I'm the dude that I don't. I don't care if my kid is gay, right? Son or daughter, right? I'm just keeping it real. It's not yeah, gonna make yeah, me no, love same. you no different, right? You know, I'm not gonna be putting these rules and regulations, and you know, if you listen, you get that's your business, you know, right? That's your business. A and his percent. daughter is an adult. Let's get that out the way right yeah. now too. My adult. Kids, yeah, that's their business. They do what they right. want to do. Right. You, know, you want to be a firefighter? Go be it. You want right. to be a gay firefighter? That's your business. Yeah, you're an adult. It. That's your business. So yeah. I ain't the dude to where. So people, it's a lot of people saying, "Oh, he wrong or is he right?" So it's a big discussion on the internet. It's like to me, it's not even about right or wrong. It's what you believe in. Mm-hmm. But I don't agree with Boosie in that sense. Like to tell your child you can't come over here. Because I don't want that around my other kids. Like you said, your female child at that, you know. Yeah. You know, see, one thing about, a, like you just said, you know, your fathers, you're trying to, like you said, you're trying to prevent dick right. from getting in the house. 
as long as possible. Yeah, it's like an intruder. <laughs> like an intruder, Bitch. You know Yeah, saying? you better check the camera. You know what I'm you gay, you got your little girlfriend, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man, like I said, you believe in what you believe in, but I don't I don't believe in that, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not going to tell my kid you can't come over to the house because uh, 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 you like another girl. Yeah. What the fuck? I yeah. don't give a... I'm not even thinking about like, and she's grown too. Right, right. She's grown. If she, she's grown and she's respectful to her daddy because she did yeah. a video on the internet and she was very respectful how, how she feel. Well, to me, she shouldn't have said, she shouldn't have got on the internet and said how she feel, but he should have got on the internet and said how he, she, he, how, how he felt also. Mm -hmm. You call your daughter. You tell her this face to face. Right. Have a you discussion. Have a discussion. You yeah. Sit, yeah, exactly. And I'm the dude, to be honest with you, especially when my kids not adults, I'm not on you. I ain't no discussion with you, motherfucker. This is yeah. what? what? That's way different. It's yeah. way different. Way, it's, yeah. it's, 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 listen, you gonna, this is what I goes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You, when you're not grown, this, what I say, this is what goes. Yeah. And you got some soft ass parents out there. You talk to, that's how you parent yo, motherfucker. Kids, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not I. My kids ain't grown. Listen, bitch. I got to yeah. pay for you to eat, sleep, shit, bathe, and all that. Yeah. This is what's happening. This is what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. And it's not like a controlling thing because uh, uh, they're kids, but they're my kids. Right. So it's not. Gonna, of course, I'm gonna try to steer my kids in the correct direction. I'm right. not in the right direction. I ain't gonna try to, you know, make them perfect or nothing. I try to make them perfect because none of us perfect. But when you grown. Oh, chains off, chains off. Uh, yeah. You ain't got like all that. You still respect me. Mm -hmm. You listen to me. You come for me for my opinion and shit like that. But other than that, I ain't trying to. You know, now nah, you grown. But yeah, yeah, but to me, like you said, I mean, that was a great, a, a great point which you had. But to me, he wrong because that's his baby at the end of the day. Right. That's his little girl. Yeah. So. Let her come over to the house and bring a little, you know, her little piece of ass over the house. Yeah, you know, yeah. And like you said, it's it's all about a respect, a character thing. Yeah. It's, it, if they were a, a dude and they sucked, well, that's disrespectful, yeah. regardless of the sexual orientation or whatever it is. It's just a respect thing, like mm -hmm. you said. Just but talk about if it. Female too, though. Yeah, same thing. If he had a, if it was a female, she got to be respectful yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. And if she sucks as a person, well, then bitch, you're not in here. Exactly. Don't bring me. Don't bring me. It's just a respect thing. Right. Man. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. You know, either you can bring you bring her over. Just don't be doing nothing sexual in front of the kids. Right. You know, some nothing outlandish in front of the, the little kids still. Yeah. Other than that. Yeah, I would. Boosie, go talk to your daughter, man. Let her come over the house. Yeah, man. we she still fuck with Boosie. Like he's dope. Boozy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's that's yeah, that's kind of wild. Yeah, yeah. And he he always going on his little crazy rants to about you know about gays and shit. Like, don't let's, man. I don't get why that <laughs> bother people so much. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I'm from the Bay Area, San Francisco specifically, and yeah, we just seen a bunch of that shit growing up. Right. We didn't like gravitate to it, but we're like we have a whole. A gay district there, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but we didn't gravitate to it. We're just like, okay, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, we got experience and understanding. Like, I got one of my best friends is gay, mm -hmm. and he's from the hood. Like, you have no idea. Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of, when he told me his story, like, it brought up a great point about how love is not always about blood. Like, when this fool came out, his entire family dipped out on him, all of them except for his sister. Gotcha. She was the only one that stayed and loved him. And he was a pastor. He's got a college education, super nice guy, builds community, nice as hell, like dope-ass human. And everybody dipped out. But it was a lesson of like, all right, my sister's the real one. She's supportive. She don't care if I'm gay or what. But now it's like me and him are like, we're like family. Right. And it kind of tells you that like, you know, the blood is not always as thick as love is. Like you right, can have right, right. friends that you're way closer with because right. a lot of family sucks. You know what right. I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. Everybody has family that just are trash. Right. They try to <laughs> manipulate us, right, take right, money, right. Yeah, yeah, hella yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, that's real. You're right. Is he like a uh, down low gay or he like out out? He's out, but he don't. He's not one of those like fucking snapping and none of that. Like he just he might have like a. Maybe like a wristband every okay. once in a while. Have like and a rainbow hood, wristband. Right? He's from the hood. Is yeah, he like yeah. from the? Is he like a rah rah dude or he like laid back? And hella laid back. Oh, okay, hella gotcha. I'm gonna like, say if he like yeah. a rah rah dude, them niggas be on the under. They be down low. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Nah, he's not. Nah. <laughs> but nah. see, but like you said, though, like it's like bro, it don't. I don't get why that people be so up in arms about gays and gay people. But like, I don't give a fuck who you fuck. I don't care who you. 
Like, that's your business, man. It don't yeah. bother me. It don't make me no different. It don't make me nothing, bro. Like, yeah. I'm, it, it's mind-blowing, bro. So I be watching people like, damn. Yeah. It, they it's really don't like this person because she like to eat pussy. And she like to get her pussy. You like to They like the same thing. They like the same thing. Like, what the fuck? I don't get it. Like, yeah. what's the big hoopla? Yeah. That shit's hilarious. It's so, it's so contradicting. It's similar to, like... When I see, it's hilarious when I see like rednecks and like beaners, like they hate each other. Right. The rednecks are racist toward Mexicans that are hella Mexican, uh -huh. but they're wearing the same outfit. The <laughs> motherfuckers got a full on cowboy outfit, both of them, and they're going, fuck that goddamn beaner. Yeah. And then that fucking pinche fucking huero. They got the same, the same big clothes belt. on, bro. Y'all are wearing a Halloween costume, talking shit and hate groups about each other. What the fuck? Hilarious, dude. That's and then you guys talk. both like pussy. Right. And you're hating each other? Right. <laughs> you could bond over that. Isn't vagina great? Yes, it is. He said, what? Got the same outfit on, man. Bro. <laughs> hate each other. I hate you. Get the cowboy hat. I never thought about it like that. Bro. <laughs> That's shit's trip, man. crazy. Yeah, man. It's like people go out like, like pussy be going on this way. I be like, bro, I don't get why you care so much. And you know what's so crazy about Boosie is he got 90 kids. <laughs> How many Boy, kids does he got? So, he got a lot of Hell, kids. Uh -huh. Hell, of kids. So you got this your, your gay daughter, right? I'm sure you want grandkids one day and all that. You got 89 more kids. You're worried about one exactly. of a thousand. Okay, she don't have no kids. She will be gay. Okay, so be I got 89 more. I'm going to have a bunch of grandkids. Yeah. That's why I said, man, it's just, you know, and I don't know, bro. And then he's so outspoken about it. But, you know, and, and again, like, I'm not defending uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, uh, them or him. Yeah. It's just, I don't give a fuck. Why? Right. And I'm just saying, why should you give a fuck? That's all right. I'm saying. He's praying that kid number 78 is homophobic. Dear God, let him. Right. <laughs> be like daddy. No, I'm motherfucker. Like, right. like, like, who cares, bro? So Diddy glitch daughter in the yeah. house, man. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna make it no difference at all, man. Don't be a hater, man. Don't be like, right, bunch of shit going like, now we gonna jump to this uh, Diddy shit, you know? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Take that, take that. Jesus, we did he do it? Yeah. He did. Yeah, man, he the real uh, freaky ass nigga. You a 69 guy. Yeah. <laughs> Undisputed champion. You know what and, and you know what's so crazy about uh, the, the, the Diddy shit? He got so many names. The Diddler, the, you know, the Diddy, Diddy, don't, don't. I don't know yeah. what the fuck. <laughs> but it, 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 it's crazy as uh used to hear about these parties and shit with Diddy and you know and, and shit like that. Now all this evidence and shit coming out that you know the shit is true. Yeah. Now whatever you do in your bedroom on your private time, that's your fucking business. Right. If you want to have threesomes, foursomes, seventeen, seventeen sums, twenty fifth sums, that's your business, and you can do that. Right. Like, and he got the money too. You can right. the fuck. Yeah, you, know, you can fuck any bitch in the world you want to. I'm just being honest. Yeah, you can do that, but that's not the problem with no. with Diddy. You know what I'm saying you can do that all you want to, Diddler, all day long. It's more power to you. That's not illegal. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you don't like it, that's not your preference. Get your take your boring ass home anyway. <laughs> 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 but on the, on some yeah. real shit. <laughs> It's the other shit. You can't be forcing nobody to do nothing. Blackmail. Blackmailing. Mm -hmm. and secretly recording people. And, and, and Quid pro quo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and, and physically harming people to do shit like, bro, even if the diddler wanted to do it with another man, that's your business. Right, it's right. not illegal. It's not nothing wrong with it. Go, I'm, well, 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 I'm just saying that's your business. That's yeah. nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So be it. Right. It's the physical harming people. The blackmailing people. No the, consent, No probably. consent, exactly. The secret recording people. The physically, like I said, slapping and punching on bitches to make them do it. That's the shit that was like, hold on. Yeah. Like, hold on, hold on. That's the shit that, to me, you way out of pocket. Hell yeah. The video with Cassie, when you, you know, when you taking her to the ground like a dog and all, you way, all that is way out of pocket. Right. All that is way out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I I'm think not, the... I think that shit stems from like I, it's just a theory, but I think people that have hella power, they've they've done everything, they've had everything, and mm -hmm. I think they're like, what can I get away with? I want to embrace my power more, and right. then they start to do fuckery like this, or to see if they could get away with it. That's crazy. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. That's yeah. What I'm saying. Like what the what's what's the thrill in that? 
Especially, I don't know. Especially people who come from being poor. Mm -hmm. You come from being poor and you reach that status. How the fuck are you? Why are you doing anything to ruin this? How are you doing anything to ruin this? How are you doing anything to affect this, to throw a ranch in it? Now, I know shit happened. You're not going to be perfect. Right. But if I'm a billionaire, I, if I was once poor and, I'm a big, and I became a billionaire, like Diddy from the hood, he from the project and shit, you know, I'm sure he was poor. Yeah. Diddy come from being poor. Yeah. You know, you see Tyler Perry ain't doing shit. You heard nothing right. about Tyler Perry. Hell no. Nah. Poor Steven in his car. Whole the studios? Going? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Did he did he come from being poor, man? You get and you get all these billions of dollars and you're a billionaire. You have all these kids, successful, successful music mogul and all this old shit. And you and you doing all this? Man, I'll be checking in every touch. Is it okay to grab your left titty? Exactly. Is it okay to grab your right titty? Exactly. I'm a billionaire. I'm exactly. not gonna fuck. I'm a bill a billionaire who was poor. Bro. I'm not doing nothing to fuck this up. I no. walk around with a GoPro on my motherfucking right, chest. Right, right. Bitch, you said like I did cop. what? Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay, hold yeah. on, bitch. Let me wear my fucking yeah. rewind. <laughs> bitch, you a lie, and I'm suing you, and I'm throwing you in jail. I'm pressing charge all the way to the extent. <laughs> Big in there, I walk around with a GoPro on my right, chest. Right, Bitch ain't going to be able to say I did nothing. I had who? I caught who? Right. Bitch, please. I'm rolling around Robocop in this bitch. Yeah. I got a camera. <laughs> bitch, billions, you ain't finna do nothing to fuck up. I was, bitch, I'm not going Four back. Four road mics. Exactly. All my back. Exactly. Everywhere. I'm going to be recording. They going to call me all type of snitch bitches. I'll show them the fuck them. <laughs> You yeah. better get the fuck away from me while I got a camera on my chest. Why? I'm protecting these billions, nigga. Right. I got 90 kids that I got money to feed generations. <laughs> a thousand, <laughs> thousand bottles of baby oil. What the fuck? Bruh. A hundred bottles of beer on the wall, a bro, thousand bottles of... Like, come on, bro. A thousand <laughs> bo bottles of baby oil. What the fuck? Now, if you can have your freak offs. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not... Like, you got a certain people... Oh, you freak... Bitch, you calling somebody freaky and you been getting trains ran on you since high school. You shut the fuck up, okay? Yeah. That's number one. Let's get that out the way right Jesus. now. Don't... You calling somebody freaky and you let... Two niggas nut on your face at the same time. Bitch, you wish you was at the party too. Stop lying. <laughs> it's the other shit. You can have the parties. You can have sex parties. Fuck all you want to. You know what I'm saying? You ain't the only motherfucker who having sex parties. That's not a weird, that's not a weird Hollywood thing right. that people think. Yeah, people we probably fuck. got one down the street. Probably. Exactly. Yeah. People fuck. Threesomes, yeah. foursomes, group sex where women don't touch women, dude don't touch dudes. Females getting gang bang on TV every day for money. Yeah, so you can have the sex. It's the other shit. You mother, you you not for to be slapping nobody. If you kick my daughter on the goddamn ground, try to force her to nigga, you better go sign in in jail. Go check in. Yeah, that yeah. you better do. That's your best bet is go check in. Yeah, you better try to find a deserted island. Exactly. <laughs> you better go check the file. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. Yeah, you better have an air force around you. I promise right. you. Right. So this the weird. It's the other shit that is weird. Yeah. Drugging bitches and all. Like, where did you niggas come from, Bruh, Rick Ross. Like, what the? <laughs> like, like Rick Ross ain't drugging bitches though. Rick Ross ain't drugging bitches and forcing bitches. You did have bitches. that one line, but <laughs> oh, it's about the line uh, in the song. I'm about to say, yeah. right. Yeah, this, 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 like dealer drugging bitch. Like, what the fuck? He's wildin', man. I don't even listen, man. I don't even like women who hesitate. Yeah, exactly. All those thoughts All come that shit, in. Exactly. You ain't even gonna hesitate to me. You wanna fuck? Yes. Okay, that's it. Yeah. You wanna fuck? Uh, bitch. Bye. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't let the doorknob hit you. Right. Uh. Uh. It's like so y'all taking and you got these billions of dollars, man. Bruh. All it takes is one bitch all to it ruin everything. One, all it takes is one bitch to ruin everything. I literally just got uh. I I'm, I had like been in some shit with the narcissist recently, and I just everybody throws that word around. A but when you female, yeah, okay. When you learn what a real narcissist is, right. that shit is scary because they're so fucking good at their job, which is just to just take everything from everyone that they can. Mm -hmm. Like this is the type of shit where you like a toxic baby mama that drains the whole bank account, leaves them with credit debt, right. and, ju and just mentally abuses the fuck out of them. Obviously, it's usually men that do the same shit. Mm -hmm. But when you run Women into an actual narcissist, oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And now I'm like, after I, I met one and like I kind of figured it out with uh, my boy who's a, a, a therapist, we were doing shrooms together, uh -huh. and we kind of dissected her behavior, and we found out who she was. And I learned that shit. I'm like, 
I now I'm gamed up. I know everything about them. So yeah. when when I blow up and these narcissistic bitches come not <laughs> bitch, I could see you from thirty thousand miles away like a sniper. You're not so, taking none of my so shit. So what's some of the shit that it's she was scary, bro? What's some of the shit she was doing? So love bombing is always first. They come in and they go, "Oh, Hannibal, you're so handsome. Oh, you be my. I want you to be my baby daddy. Oh, I want to marry you, future husband." That she was telling me all this shit. Uh, oh, we make such cute babies and all this shit. Um, and then after that, then they want to hang out with you. She was gonna pull up for a month. And then wanted to hang out for two, maybe three days. Uh -huh. Think about the math on that. She told me I'm her future husband, uh -huh. and she wants to hang for two, three days out of a month. Do the math on that. That means she got <laughs> right. 10 other dicks. You got 10 dicks. And I'm number three. You want a comedian, athletic baby daddy? You're not getting my nut, woman. She wants my athletic, funny nut. Yeah. She's not getting it. Not getting it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's, That's crazy. That was a red flag. Right? I almost fell for it. She sent me videos and all that. I was like, yeah. God, she was like a nine, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I learned a powerful lesson. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I left her ass in LA. I'm we're gonna supposed pull to meet up, up for a month. Right. But we only go hang for two or three days. And we're supposed to be future spouse. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out you of sell, here. Yeah, you, you selling pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're an escort. You selling ass. You ain't slick. Right. Right. You ain't slick. Like you she said, got you got NBA two, three player, other. Yeah, yep. an NFL player. Exactly. You was coming up. You was, you was trying to get Frankie for his three days. Then you was going to move on to uh, Jonathan Kaminga. And you <laughs> got them uh, uh, D'Angelo Russell or some other shit. You right. Know? God <laughs> She was going to move on to That's a goddamn yeah. shame, man. Yeah. And the, and the point is, like, I'm glad. I am glad that shit happened. That's a blessing. Because, again... When I blow up, if I didn't have that happen, I wouldn't know how they look. Right. They do the exact same playbook. They do the love bombing, mm -hmm. and they do the manipulation, the gaslighting, and they. It, it's just a whole. It's like a pimp shit, like yeah. basically. Yeah. And they do that to like thirty guys at once until they don't even know who they are anymore. That's crazy. They literally take every, not even like material and your whole fucking identity where you're like, damn, I, I'm a piece of shit. Right. They take your fucking soul. You ran into one. Shang Tsung, bitches. <laughs> you ran into one for Bruh. sure. Three days out of 30. And imagine she got a perfect ass, green eyes. She All she does is work. She's a model. She looks at you, Medusa ass bitch. Right. Oh, She'll so, take everything. So let me ask you this. You were so, how long you was talking to her for? For like. Since February. Since like, okay. Yeah. If she was coming to see you for a month, she was mm -hmm. coming for a month and she wanted to see you out of three days, what was she coming for in the first place? She said she wanted to explore. So like see California, like Yosemite Park, uh -huh. and then go to like, you know, fucking Texas, mm -hmm. so New she was York. Coming, well, that's shit. not Texas and New Just York. Just a vacation, basically. Okay. Basically, yeah. So yeah. basically she coming for a month and yeah. want to see you for three days. Right. Get the fuck out of here. How phony is what? that shit? Did she even ask you to explore with her? Y'all explore together? No. I was the one that I was like, <laughs> maybe we could go to Texas together right. and New York. And she was like, well, I can't spend the whole time, babe. Oh, I'm like, my God. I was like, this is weird. I started talking to my homies like, yo, yeah. is this weird? <laughs> And then they're like, maybe you're simping. I'm, like, I'm not simping. Nah, like five know. days, exactly. is, that's reasonable. She's trying to finagle you know I mean? here. She's setting she's me up. A week is reasonable. Right. A exactly. week. Exactly. And she's coming from where again? All the way from Australia. Exactly. So you coming from another country. Right. For a month to come out here, to come for a month. And you, and you, don't, you don't want me to chaperone you around this country? Bruh. And I'm your future husband. And I'm your future Get husband? Get the fuck. Exactly. Bruh. She trying to exactly. Matter of fact... You trying to you trying to marry you for a green card? That's huh? what she is. She literally <laughs> said that, bro. She literally said that shit. And I was like, I'm, I want one to Australia, so it works out. Right. But I was halfway kidding. She was not fucking kidding. <laughs> she wanted, bro. She trying to get you, hey, bro. She trying to get you for that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. She trying to say because you know a lot of them pay and shit, so she trying to get you. To marry her for a green card. Yep. She was gonna get it through the marriage or yeah. through or through the kid. That's crazy. She was going to get it. Did she, she get you some pussy before? N no, I turned that shit down. Oh that was the hardest thing I've God. ever done in my life. She's a model. Green eyes. So perf. Oh, my God. So you mean to tell me, let me tell you how good she was. She ain't getting you no pussy. Nope. She calling you about being your husband and yep. kids. And all. Okay, I'm coming to America yep. for a month. I set up plans. Coming to LA for a month. Boy, coming out here for a month. Bam. You set up plans. Yep. 
I only want to see you three days. I ain't gave you no pussy or nothing, but right. I want to marry you, have babies with yeah. you. I can't and wait I'm, to fuck you. And I can't wait to fuck yeah. you. I'm coming out here for, and, uh-huh. I, and I don't want to see you for three days. Yeah. You think you slick. Crazy, That's hilarious. Bro. Crazy. That's hilarious. She trying to pimp you for a green card. Mm-hmm. She ain't actually never asked for no money and shit she like need that. A, a, a white girl needed a Mexican for a green card. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> In America. Right. No, nah, she didn't ask for no money, but she did. At some point, she was like, oh, uh, I, I do need some hiking shoes, like, oh, like to see if I, buy, if I bite the bait. Yeah. And I was like, I could get some at Ross. And yeah. I literally was like, I was going to get her like some $20 ones. Yeah. Because I knew she was playing that game to see if I'm going to like break her off with hella money, what uh-huh. type of restaurants we're going to go to. But I always put them through the test too. Yeah. You got to get through the, you know what I mean? Right. The Chick-fil-A or the fucking, you know what I mean? Exactly. Before you get the rooftop in LA. I'll give you both, but you got to show me that you're humble. You know what I mean? That's fucking hilarious. Crazy, bro. I was going to get, imagine, think about that. We're going to hang for a week and a half. We ended up, it's what we had finally uh, decided on. But think about a week and a half already. Out the gate, a hotel for a week and a half. That's, That's already like two racks. Exactly. Out the gate. You haven't even gone to take her to eat, all that shit. Before right. she even touched me Before, or seen me. And she only wanted two or three days. Imagine all the other guys. See, see, you different from me. See, let me explain something to you. She called me, told me about, oh, I want to see you with two, three days. I would have told the bitch, listen, I would have used my Bob Barker voice. Come on down. <laughs> two or three days. Okay, baby, I got you. Two or three days. That's all yeah. you want? You want to go explore? Okay, this is why you got to take your feelings out of shit. Right, right. You now you're get, right. Exactly. Yep. You got to go in with your dangling in uh-huh. a condom and not your feelings. Right. Leave your feelings at the door. Fuck your feelings. Right. Bad bitch from Australia, all that. You come on down here for two, three days, bitch. I'm going to fuck you for two, three days. Yep, that's it. And I'm going to put you back on the train. Yep. It, it's that simple. You go. You want to go explore Yosemite? Go explore Yosemite. Oh, yep. but but ain't no buds, bitch. Don't ask me for nothing. You right. came down here, got fucked for two, three days, go on to Texas, New York, explore this city. Do what you got to do. The bitch don't call me, you know? Yeah. I mean, that that would be the normal play. But yes. the way that she was so good at selling this shit, I was like, Mm-mm. oh, no, we're like, we could be a thing. We got the same lifestyle. She, got you with she green sold eyes. every. Bro. Are you thinking this? Oh. Lit. She, bro. She, 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 she's basically like Lola Bunny. This bitch, imagine her whole life she's been bad. She's mastered this art of seduction shit. She almost Bruh, got you. She almost got me. That close. Crazy bitch. Yeah, yeah. If she I wasn't up. with my therapy homies, like homie doing shrooms, uh-huh. she would have pulled up and got me. <laughs> she would have got took, the penis fly trap. <laughs> it took shrooms. Yeah. It took shrooms for you to wake up. Bruh. Well, but I learned up. so much. Now I know. Yeah, fellas. Now I know. It's not just us. It's women too. Bro, Pay when I attention. tell you all the shit, I'll be like, man, all Manipulate, the Manipulate, they've been manipulators. They're yep, aggressive yep. panhandlers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're pimps too. Yep. They all, that, all that. Yep. Y'all better stop falling. Try to stop falling for these bitches, okay? These toxic ass bitches. Exactly. Are crazy. Actually, I'm talking about be straight up with them. Stop, stop lying to them to fuck them. That's another thing. Mm-hmm. Stop lying to these females to get in their pants. Tell them the truth. Ma'am, I just want to have sex with you, okay? Right. Do you want to have sex or not? Yes, okay. We're going to we grown. We're going to connect. This is what we're going to do. Right. You don't want to have sex with me? Bitch, there's the door. Yeah. I have yeah. no feelings for you. I am not buying you a taco. <laughs> Stop asking <laughs> me for anything. Stop hinting. Stop all that. I don't want to go out. I don't want to take you nowhere. None of that. Go ask your daddy with that panhandling shit. If you ain't got right. no daddy, ask your uncle. Yeah. If you ain't got no uncle, ask your granddaddy. You ain't got no granddaddy, ask your big cousin. But bitch, don't ask me. It's that simple. For Nathan. It's that simple. That's, that's sometimes people be, you know, uh, uh, cutting corners. Get straight to the point. Right. Get the shot the way get to the point, man. Shit's ridiculous, man. Yeah. That shit's crazy. The yeah. more I the more I learn about this shit, I'm like, all the shit that they were saying, I'm first I hear like all the rap that I grew up to. I'm like, damn, they kind of misogynistic. There's some toxic shit. Now I'm like, no, these motherfuckers are telling us. Yes. These bitches ain't shit. That's There's the thing, truth. It pays to have a father God. in your life, man. Because my, my you know, I get a lot of game from my father yeah. and my big cousins mm-hmm. and shit like that. Yeah. It pays to have that type of shit. Right. Because you know, this is where this shit comes from. I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I am not peppity plu right. for you. Right. It's that simple. Yeah. You get peppity plu for me, bitch, you are special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another thing, man, I was looking at is these uh 
these sports reporters, man. I remember back in the days we had sports reporters, mm -hmm. John Clayton and R.I.P. Um, uh, Stuart Scott and just sports reporters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, to me, shit is getting dramatic and reporters are not reporting on sports no more. Mm. They asking stupid ass questions. They trying to create narratives and drama. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't about sports no more. It's just creating drama and, you know, they act like they know more than the coach and the GM. Just a, but it's not sports no more. Right. Like, uh, I, I, I was uh, looking at something, and I read something that um, it was NBA Media Day, and the Milwaukee Bucks reporter was in. They was asking Damian Lillard questions. He's at the podium. Yeah. Now we all know the rapper Glorilla had this thing. She got this thing. She liked Damian Lillard. This is Damian Lillard at Media Day now. Mm -hmm. We know the rapper. She liked Glorilla, and she got these. You know, I got. She want. She want to be with him. I guess I don't know, but the sports reporter at Media Day asked Damian Lillard. A question about Glorilla the rapper, like asked him, like what's the situation? What? Him and her? That's what that was his reaction when he asked this shit. He was like, "What we the media fuck is happening for the Milwaukee Bucks for the, a basketball team right. in the NBA?" And you asking me about some shit from the shade room and uh, about Glorilla liking me? Like what the? F what has happened Jesus. to sports reporters, man? Like what the? F I th you know what I think that is? It's like now everybody is putting out content mm -hmm. and mainstream media is dying slowly and they're trying to get desperate now to be like, how can we get attention on us? Yes. Drama. Drama. They're desperate as fuck. I mean, every... And it's, this is sports. Right. Now, sports do have drama. Michael yeah, Jordan, yeah. Kobe, Shaq, right. everybody, you know, Tom Brady... Yeah. We have drama. Right. But that type of... Why are you asking this man not only about his personal life, but about some rap media Perez Hilton type of red carpet shit. Like, what the fuck? That's we had crazy. media day for NBA basketball. Media day. <sighs> Shout out my guy, Dame Lillard, man. Whoever that reporter is, that nigga need to go. Get him gone. Yeah. God damn, That man. shit is hella lame, man. Oh, God. So, uh, so, so what you got coming up, man? What you, let, let the people know what you got coming up before we get up out of here. Uh, so I'm starting a, I'm starting a tour... Uh, Conquer this Saturday is the first one, but I got San Jose Improv, Hawaii, okay. um, San Diego. I got a bunch of stuff, but it's all, you know, in my link tree and Instagram, Frankie M Comedy, Frankie with the IE. Um, Frankie M Comedy, Frankie with the IE. Y'all make sure y'all follow yeah, us on Instagram. Yeah, please do. I appreciate it. And uh, But yeah, and then in January, I'm going to go back to Australia again, and then I'm going to do an Asia tour again. Yeah, you're not so. meeting up in the red light district holes in Australia yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay far away. I can see them now. Right, right, right. Well, I thank you for them. coming on, bro. We yeah, appreciate, appreciate you. you. Anytime, man. Once again, man, make sure y'all follow Frankie. Frankie M Comedy on Instagram. Check out him out. Check him out on Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. And go support his live comedy shows, man. I am your host, comedian Hannibal Thompson, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow the Instagram play page at Disclaimer Podcast on Instagram, at Disclaimer PCS on Twitter. Uh, excuse me. And um, subscribe, like, Leave a comment. And please, please keep supporting like y'all been doing, man. We appreciate you, man. Disclaimer, we on this podcast do not mean any harm to anybody mentally, physically, or emotionally. We are just here for entertainment purposes and entertainment purposes only. Until next time. Shouts out to all of, uh, 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 I'm sorry, the um, sponsors, man. Luke Belair, v Friends, Franz, uh, McQueen and the Violent Fog, all that good stuff. Prize picks. We on prize pick. Use my code All American P on prize picks. It is football season. The basketball season is coming back up. So prize pick is a thing to do. Use my code All American P. And uh, we got some discounts for you, man. Hell this yeah. is the disclaimer podcast. Yeah.